Hi everyone, it's, I believe it's part 12 now of the health training series. I'm trying to hurry up to get to work and today's gonna be a quick topic. It's regarding uh, about rest. Is it to rest or not to rest? Specifically, I wanna talk about exercising, but I'll talk about rest in general. Um, so a lot of the time people have a trouble thinking that sleep is resting alone. And it's true because there are, there's actually seven types of rest. And I'm grabbing this information. I'm grabbing this information um, from Mindful Health Solutions. I'll link down below. And there's step, seven types of rest. It's the physical, the mental, emotional, sensory, creative, social, and spiritual. And as you can see, all those things um, when you sleep, get um, get addressed, um, and it makes sense because you know you're closing your eyes, you don't hear much, it's very quiet. So your sensory, your spiritual, um, you're, you're just taking a break from everything, uh, from the physical and the emotional, because you're not taking anything in during those times. And sleep makes sense, and it's the best way to get some rest. However, however, however. There's different types of rest as well. And I just want to address exercise first because, hold on a second. I'm always debating on rest days, right? Sometimes I don't want to take a break from rest, uh, from working out because I love it so much, but I know it's essential. Essential and yet I don't do it. Why? Why is it that we do that? Because like during your rest period, that's that's when your muscles can really recover, right? And if you don't do a proper recovery of your muscles, so I'm just dumping out some of the juice because I don't need that much. It's harder for you to regain muscle over time because you're not letting the muscles um, rebuild itself with the, the protein that you've been eating. And so the idea is, uh, that's the, the basic idea of resting. Um, but for me, it doesn't feel right. It feels like I'm wasting a day that I could possibly be pushing myself again getting me closer, <clears throat> getting me closer to my goals, right? And in that way, like sometimes I don't take rest days. I go working out seven days a week. And I don't know if it's a problem with everyone, but it's, it's a big problem for me. Um, Cause I just, I just love working out. I just love it so much to the point where I, I do it every day, no problem. It's not necessarily healthy. Oh, I cooked these yesterday, these, this nice chicken breast. I'm just gonna grab one. I'm gonna grab some soup as well. Can I grab some soup if possible? No, I have to. But I gotta practice what I preach, is all I'm saying. I have to really take some time off working out. Like even yesterday, I was so tired from work. And I know I address this a lot, too tired to exercise, but I still do it. And <laughs> that's the problem of it. Because a lot of times I'm not resting when I should be. And so I think in the next little while, I'll schedule my rest days more efficiently because the way it works is that I never want to have rest days during ab days because right now the two muscles I'm working on fully is abs abs and shoulders right because those are prominent muscles for the modeling industry and so I have to make it a mission to to make sure I work those muscles not 
rest in those days, right? And it's hard for me to do, like hard for me to convince myself, like, hey, you should, uh, you should rest up, buddy. You know, like, it's hard for me to do that. It's just tough. It's just tough all over to find some time to do that. And reality is, reality is, we're better off to rest than to not. Um, again, for for me, scientific rest periods. But about a month, grabbing my rice. I don't have enough time these days, so I leave dishes to the at, at night. Sorry if I'm scurrying along. I'm actually kind of late. But yeah, just find some time to to rest up. Put some time aside from rest. And I'm not talking about hours of rest. I'm just talking about a simple, you know, five minute break from studying or thirty minute power nap. That's what I'm. That's the kind of rest I'm talking about. So, when you're feeling tired next time, ask yourself, what is it really that I'm tired of? Is it the physical? Is it the mental? Is it the emotional? Is it a sensory? or creative, social, because these things you don't tap into all at once, right? Some get exhausted more than others. And really that's, that's when you want to really focus on things because you don't want to be resting something that doesn't need rest or else you're wasting your time in that regard. You want to be, because sleep, again, you're resetting everything when you sleep, but during the day, things get exhausted it has to recover in order for you to be in maximum capacity. Um, so, in saying so, don't debate rest, please. Don't pull all nighters. Let your mind reset. Let let let, let you start uh, things anew the next day, the next hour. Right? If you're feeling exhausted. Hey Cloudy, this one's for you. If you're feeling burnt out, recognize what part of your life is getting exhausted. And I'm gonna post the, the comment here by Cloud. And you know they are telling me that they're they're burnt out, address it. I'll I'll make a bigger video out of it. But that's how you address burnout. Okay? So I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm gonna continue meal prepping. I'll make a video of what I eat in a day, probably tomorrow. Tomorrow is the perfect day to eat an entire day. It's my day off. I'll show you off how I eat. So that's going to be part 12. Thanks for, for being here. Don't forget, I'm trying to think. The, the previous video, click on this previous video, okay? And also follow my health journey and subscribe to my channel. Comment down below how, what, it, what are types of rest do you utilize out of the seven? Again, I, I will come back again and continue on the series. I'm glad that I'm doing this because I'm addressing a lot of topics I always talk about to myself. I, yeah, I talk to myself a lot, I gotta admit. But anyways, I'll see you guys later. Take care of yourself always. And see you in the next one.